we did have a bitter and intensified conflict with the terrorists for 28 years. But subsequently, we finally achieved peace in our country under the leadership of His Excellency President Mahindra Rajapaksa. Well, you've, you've achieved a military victory. It's not necessarily the same as a peace. Actually, is it? actually, we're now four years post uh, uh, having achieved peace, and I myself have been many times to the north and east to the previously conflict-affected areas. And it's so wonderful to see the very comprehensive reconciliation, reintegration, rehabilitation, and reconstruction program going on. You call Sri Lanka a heterogeneous society. And yes. there's, a, there's a letter that's been written on behalf of many minority groups, um, Tamils, also Muslims, and Sri Lankan civil society to the Commonwealth, which essentially says there is a lack of progress mm -hmm. towards reconciliation. Um, it's calling on the government of Sri Lanka to do things like release or charge all political prisoners and provide full public access um, about where they're being held. Why isn't that happening? I mean, the, the conflict didn't end yesterday. It ended four yes. years ago. It is very much happening, and that's what I was alluding to. If you look at progress post-conflict, we have a very comprehensive Lessons Learned and Reconciliation Commission. It was modelled on the Truth and Reconciliation Commission of South Africa. It was set within the principle of international humanitarian law, incorporating the principle of distinction and the principle of proportionality. It and had you over five thousand it had over five thousand submissions and actually these things are being implemented. In fact, the President's Secretary himself has been appointed to monitor the nation, National Action Plan for implementation of the LLRC. Okay. But like just peer give, countries... Just give, me some concrete, just give me some concrete examples concrete of what, examples, of what you would point 297, to. 297,000 people have been rehabilitated. There's a billion dollar program which has gone into the north and east, Nagarina Navodhya and Uttaru Vasanthya, which is rebuilding the uh, lives and the infrastructure of the people. 11,600 LTT cadres are now being rehabilitated. I've met these kids. They they were cruelly snatched by Prabhakar and they didn't they were fighting but they didn't know what they were fighting for. It's so wonderful to see them undergoing vocational training, being rehabilitated and reintegrated. I into don't society. suppose you ever get to meet the Tamil asylum seekers who come to this country because they say they're still being persecuted I have in met, uh, Sri Lanka. I have met many Tamil asylum seekers when I took up my tenure in September two thousand and eleven. Uh, I invited everyone to come to the High Commission. I meet them on a regular basis. And what do they say? Because obviously they've, they've sought asylum because they don't think that they're going to get a, well, a decent quality of life I, in, in I, Sri Lanka. I, I would say that there are many people who for ve ver various different reasons come and seek asylum. And I think what we have to separate is those who seek asylum as economic refugees from those who s s seek asylum as political refugees. And now that we have peace in the country, you must remember that the demography of the country, the majority of Tamil people actually live in the centre and the south of Sri Lanka. And we do, if you look at Colombo, it's roughly a 30-30-30% split between Sinhalese, Tamil and Muslim. Most of us have relatives who are either Tamil or Muslim or Sinhalese. And that is not understood here because the problem is that we have a huge dichotomy or disjuncture in perception between what is portrayed here and the reality of contemporary so, Sri Lanka. So, so there, there, are no, there, there are no issues then with, uh, with ethnic tension in Sri Lanka. I mean, for instance, we're not just talking about Tamils here. There have been lots of reports recently um, and evidence about attacks on the Muslim community in Sri Lanka. Is, 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 that, is that not I, happening? I, I, I would say very much that you have to understand and be sensitive and empathetic to the context. We had a bitter internecine conflict with the terrorists for 28 years. It will take an enormous length of time. In comparison, look at South Africa after apartheid, look at Northern Ireland after the IRA. Isn't four years, a decent, take, isn't, isn't four years a decent length of time to, to really absolutely. question how much progress you've been making? Absolutely. Well, but we have a, a commission that is actually moving forward. It's and not an tremendous independent progress. process, though, is it? I mean, one of the things the UN is calling for is for uh, a proper, impartial, independent process, which, was, which would essentially involve outsiders coming in to assess your record. No, I think that one has to make the distinction between an independent process and an international process. We respect the sovereign rights of Britain, of every other country, and we expect you to respect ours. So we are a sovereign and independent state. And naturally, we apply the same uh, courtesies that you would uh, expect us to apply for your country. So it is different from an international uh, uh, inquiry. We do have an independent inquiry. And I think many people initially criticized the LLRC process until they actually saw it. When they saw it, it was a 380-page document. It was critical of government. And the president not only released it, but released it in full. And there is a genuine sincerity, I would say, throughout our country. There are lots of, there's lots of progress to be made. No one's denying that. 
of course, after a bitter conflict, this would, and I say this as a doctor of medicine, I mean, I lived in the country here for 28 years, practiced in the NHS, there's a long way, and we are making tremendous okay, progress. Okay, so four but, years on, just briefly, so how yes. many years before you can say, actually, I feel the job is done, we are properly reconciled. If four years isn't long enough for you, for you to get to the final judgment. I think if you look at apartheid, so many years on, they okay. still have uh, tremendous issues. Northern Ireland tr still okay. has tremendous issues. Okay. I think we've done pretty well.